I'm not doing this video for anyone to jump in and watch or anything like that. I'm just getting something off my chest. And that thing is, I have taken a lot of BS from people over the course of my life. And a lot of people don't understand what that does. For me, personally speaking, it really pushes me into a place of solitude. I am, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still handle everyday life. I still do everything I need to do. When I say solitude, it means I don't have any want, wish, desire to interact with anybody for any reason. And some doctors may call it depression. I mean, they may be right. Some may not even even be licensed practitioners. But, you know, that's not my problem. But as you can see, I'm far from depressed. Um, I'm just I've reached a point I know today because I am not busy. I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting my mind do what it does. <clears throat> Which is quite annoying because I would just like to have absolute stillness, peace, and mental quiet. And I know a lot of people don't know what mental quiet is, but I'm not going to get into that today. Um, my mind is very busy. It's very full. My mind is like a vault. Even though I keep so many secrets for a lot of the quote-unquote friends that call themselves my friends. I don't I don't let other people's information out. And the vault is full. And I know this is going to sound stupid. It's going to sound retarded. But I'm going to say it anyway. I need to purge the vault. It's full. It, it can't take any more secrets. It can't take any more uh, anyone else's information. It can't. There's nowhere, there's no corner left. And last night, early this morning, I did everything but reset my phone. I didn't change my number, though I'm still thinking about it. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm full. And it needs to leave. But yet again, I'm not doing this video or any of my videos for anyone to jump in because I'm not being the typical person on social media. I don't care to have followers watch my live videos or watch my videos, period because of what they might see or what secret I'm going to tell and broadcast to the world. It's not my information to tell. And I'm not going to lower myself like everyone else does on social media just for likes and followers. Honestly, not my thing. But anyway, back to the point. 
my vault is full. It's busting at the seams. Like, I'm... I don't know why so many people that I allow to stay in contact with me feel the need to tell me everything. Why? Just because you know you can talk to me and it not go anywhere? That's great. But you're not... People don't think that when they just talk and they dump everything on somebody or it's multiple people at different times in different forms dumping everything on one person it starts to get a little unbearable it starts to get a little heavy and I'm not going to, no, not a little. It, it starts to get heavy as fuck. To where you can even maintain who you are because you don't have the space to put you. So, I don't know my next steps. I don't know if it's going to be completely resetting my phone and not letting it restore from a backup. I don't know what. I don't know if I'm going to change my number or if I'm just going to block everybody. I don't know. All I know is that when certain people see things on other platforms coming from me, and that's not like me, and then you don't reach out, you don't message me, you don't do anything, you just say, oh, well, he left another post, let me go like it, and leave it at that, because I'm too busy, you know, doing my own thing to even see, you know, if everything is okay, or if something's wrong, or, you know, if he just needs an ear, or just a few minutes. but nobody's looking at the situation outside of themselves I don't reach out to anybody because I know I have nobody to reach out to so what would be the point of just proving what I already know if the people that I know and call themselves my friend could handle everything that I'm handling mentally, spiritually, emotionally, then they would allow me to reach out to them. But every time I do, and it's always one particular person, no matter what day it is, no matter what time it is, one person. Oh, I can't talk now. Text me. Or it's always some type of excuse of why I can't communicate with you verbally. Or it's an excuse of why we can't go anywhere and do anything. It's not about money. At least for me, it's not. Because I don't have a problem paying for something that I'm inviting you to. I don't have a problem going to pick you up if I'm inviting you. Hell, if you don't want me to pick you up, I can get you an Uber. Lyft, as ratchet as Lyft is. I don't have a problem. But you're not giving me that opportunity. Every time I've reached out to you, I needed you. But you want to say, oh, we're good friends. Oh, we're family. (laughs) So now when I hear somebody say they are my friend, I could have a whole smile on my face. But as soon as I hear that and it's directed at me, 
okay, time for me to go. We're not friends. We're not friends. We're not family. We're not even associates. We are... Hell, at this point, we're strangers. And I'm okay with that. And that's what people don't realize about me. I am an Aquarius that has traits of a Capricorn and a Gemini. I am completely emotionally, mentally, physically, verbally, socially detached. I am detached. And now that I've reached the point of not dealing with anybody on any level, I can't even say that my heart is cold. Because in order for for one's heart to be cold, they would have to have one. I no longer seem to have one. And I'm good with that. So... For everybody that always has to make excuses for one reason or another at any given time, we're strangers. So do yourself a favor. Unfriend me, unfollow me you know, block me, whatever, I don't care. Because you haven't been in my life thus far. I won't know that you unfollowed me or unfriended me. I I, I promise you, I won't. I won't look for you. I, I Trust me, I will not. It's not, uh, it's not hurting me. It doesn't affect me. I don't care. So, like, I literally have nothing else. Like, everyone that has come into my life has taken bits and pieces of me every time we communicate. And just literally sucked the good out of me. People have sucked the life out of me. With their drama. And not fucking once. Did anyone ever say to me, thank you for listening. Thank you for being there. If you ever need me for anything, call me, text me, I'll be there. Nobody. But yet it's always me. Everybody wants to run to when something go down. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. I'm no longer available. I'm no longer there. Hell, I went through a fucking divorce. that I didn't want to go through. And it damn near destroyed me. And not one fucking person was there for me. Not one. Friend, family, foe, nobody. But yet, all of you motherfuckers can go around liking the posts that I put up that says, Divorced. Knowing how much love I had and how much I fought through the bullshit, the fuckery, the lies, the games, the cheating. None of you bitches were there. And me right now, the person I have changed into, I will say this. And I will be perfectly fucking content with fucking saying it. 
I hope you go through everything that I went through. Done. Don't like it? What you gonna do? Not talk to me? Oh, damn. What else is fucking new, bitch? What else is fucking new? We already don't speak. We, what? Am I supposed to be hurt? Sorry. I, I can't hurt behind something that is not existent. But it's funny. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. This shit is funny. How I find out a lot of shit about these so-called friends and family members on fucking social media. And then when the shit finally comes out of your own fucking mouth, my mind is already racing like, oh shit, I already knew this shit. How am I supposed to fucking respond? Oh wait, I got it. I already know. You're late. So I'm good. I was good before you. I was good during you. I was I am going to be perfectly fine long after you. And see, I want to be, I want to live up to my fucking username on IG. I really do. Because I could name drop people. I mean, I could give out first name, last name, phone numbers, email addresses, usernames. But it wouldn't be doing me any justice. It wouldn't be doing me any good. Yeah, I would sit back and laugh at the shit. But what good would it do? I wouldn't be able to be there to see it. I wouldn't be able to see their reactions when I let their shit out the fucking vault. But hey. I don't know what's coming in the future. I really don't. I am unpredictable. Even I cannot predict what the fuck I'm going to do. Just like this fucking video was not predicted. This was a whim. But yet... This is what people have made me. This is what people have turned me into. People have been begging for this side of me to come out. Well, you've called, I've come. And there is not one corner of this earth I cannot reach. Just know that. I don't need any of your personal information I have everything I need already but yet all of you and I really could name drop it would make it a lot easier for whoever sees this video but I have a feeling whoever sees this fucking video knows exactly who the fuck they are all you got to do is scroll down through your text thread. That's all you got to do. When was the last mes message that you sent to my phone number? You'll have your answer. When was the last time we communicated that you initiated the communication? Tell me that. Oh, wait, you can't. So, 
you should already know who you are without me having to call you out. I mean, but if you really need me to address the situation directly and call you on all of your fuckery and all of your bullshit and all of your bitch assness, we got time. I got the rest of the day today and all day tomorrow. You know my number. If you follow me on IG, you know how to reach me here too, bitch. Facebook, you know how to reach me there too, bitch. Phone, you know how to reach me there too, bitch. So it's like, I'm not scared of none of you motherfuckers. None of you. But yet everybody want to sit back and key, key, key and say, oh, I'm busy. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got that. Oh, my kids. Oh, my kids. Oh, my kids. You know what? And since we own the motherfucking subject, bitch. Mm. See, I, I wanted to go there. But I want you to really think if you know how to do that. Am I talking about you? Or am I talking about you? Or am I just talking about all of you? See, here's the thing. Stupid people. Ignorant people. And what's that other adjective I'm looking for? Come on, think. Ah! The people that are wrong think they've done no wrong. But yet, none of you motherfuckers can face me. And when I say face me, communication, none of you can do that. But yet, I have no issue reaching out to you to see if you stupid, simplistic, ignorant bitches are still alive. Yeah, that won't be happening anymore. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because now, looking back over our history together, whether it be friend, family, or foe, and I'm going to use this perfect little meme no, I guess it would, it would be a, a boomerang clip. And I find it so funny. Because it's so fitting. Because as I look back over our histories, all I can say is, and I, oop! That part. Because when it comes to me caring about what happens to you, how you're feeling, what you're going through, whatever the case may be. And I, oop. That's all I got for all of y'all. Whether we have interacted with each other side by side, in the workplace, outside of work, you know, being closer than friends, you know, being family. Well, it's only been one-sided because I actually reach out to see how my actual family is doing since none of you bitches know how to do that. But yet, as soon as you have a motherfucking problem, bitch, ha, get into it, amen, Shabbat. You're calling me. You're texting me. You're trying to reach out to me. Bitch, for what? Don't. I have nothing left for any of you. So, the next time I post a picture, the next time I post a video, the next time I post anything, Let me be dead to you. 
somebody that once was very close to me. And I thought we would be close forever. Said this to me on the phone. I am in mourning of this relationship. I am in mourning of this friendship. If you've been watching the video thus far, hint, hint. See, I would be in mourning, but you know, I don't have a heart. I, I am emotionally unavailable. So I don't know how to mourn the loss of something that died years ago, okay? Probably back in the day, it would have hurt that I don't have a close relationship with anyone outside of my immediate family. Give me a minute, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to find the feeling of hurt. Yeah, no, mm -mm, just can't find it. Mm -mm, nope, I'm, I'm, I ain't got no more. Um, let's see, sadness. Hmm. Do I have sadness? Nope, mm -mm. no sadness. Mm -mm. Anger, 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 anger for the loss of friendships that ended years ago. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. I, I, no. I mean, we haven't been spoken in... Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, mm, fresh out, I ain't got nothing. But, yeah. So. I'm good. I'm going to just continue to stay in my lane. Do me and prepare for my future and prep for my future, my dreams, my hopes, my goals, my aspirations, while all of you are stuck in the rut that you made for yourselves. Because I refuse to be stuck in any ruts, any binds, any type of binding contracts hint hint with anyone that is that cannot benefit me and that I can help to benefit I'm just not going to do it I'm not going to enter myself into a contract with anyone just to say Sorry, I got alerts coming up left and right. People saying, who are you talking about? What's going on? None of your motherfucking business. If it ain't you, shut the fuck up. Keep watching. If not, mind your motherfucking business. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm not going to put myself in a bind for anything or anyone to just to say that, you know, things are legitimate, hint, hint. I have someone, hint, hint. I can do bad by my damn self. Why do I want to have someone else in my life to bring me lower than what I am? I mean, I'm not sitting low. I mean, I, I'm... I'm, I'm getting up there, you know, and, and not in age either because I still get carded for my damn bottles and shit. So, fuck what you thought. Um, but I'm, I'm not in a bad place. I'm really not. I'm in a very good place. Um, now, granted, everything is not going the way I want it to, but that's part of being an adult. That's part of being a responsible, intelligent adult
this video is too fucking long. But I'm just getting the fucking truth out. And it's my personal truth. It's dealing with things that I've actually dealt with, gone through, going through, and I'm seeing my own way the fuck out of. So, see, that's what happens when when you're a child and you have actual parents that instill in you everything you need to grow up, to see yourself out of something that you don't want to be in any longer, even when you become an adult. And you already have one or two children. You know, you're on your own. You're flourishing. You're thriving. And something happens to where you have to communicate with either your mother, your father, grandparent, you know, somebody older than you in your family to basically refresh that instillment that you received as a child now in your adult life to make sure you can see your through see yourself through certain things to get to the next point to get to the next level but we all do not take heed when we are children and we all definitely do not take heed when we are adults let's just be honest because some of us think just because you know we've been able to push out a life or assist in creating a life you know we're adults and we just we're just all knowing you're a fucking idiot anybody that thinks like that or remotely close to it you're a fucking idiot and yes you're a fucking idiot if you think you're all knowing and you know better than just because you're older than you're a fucking idiot so Neither here nor there. Not my business. I don't give a fuck. Just know that this live has been put out. It is regarding the people that have been in my life for years that are no longer there. And whether they know it or not, not my problem. I do. Let's see how many actually catch the fuck on and try to reach the fuck out now that they are no longer within my contacts anywhere. Not even in the cloud, bitch. Because I deleted that fucking back up to get into it. Amen. Shabbat. New fucking chapter, bitch. New fucking chapter. I'm not the one. I have evolved, or should I say, I have digressed. Yes, I have digressed into my former glory of not needing, wanting, or thinking about anyone else besides myself. Some say it's not the way to live. Well, okay, so what would you call the way I was living before? I was living for other people that didn't give two fucks about me. And now that I'm the, at the age that I'm at now, I have surpassed a lot of you. And I'm not bragging by any means. It's just the fact that you're older than me. You should be a lot further ahead in life than I am. I should not have passed you. You used to say that you want to help me build everything to get to the point where I don't need anyone. Well, you failed because you couldn't even do that for your damn self. But I'm good. And I will continue to be good. Because I know that my father up above loves me that much to have got me to from point A all the way to where I'm at now. And I know he did not bring me all the way out here just to leave me now. I know that for a fact. Because he is still continuing to love me and bless me and give me things that I would have never dreamed of me having. I do what I have to do for myself. I can't see myself leaning on anyone because I don't want to go months down the line or even years down the line and have someone say, oh, remember when I helped you do so-and-so? Who 
who helped me do what? And nobody human helped me do nothing. I have everything I have not because of God. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. I, I, I'm very proud of that. I have lived in California. I've lived in New York. I've lived in Jersey. I've lived in Florida. I've lived other places. And I'm currently at where I'm at now. By the grace of God. I trust man not. And that means man, woman, I trust them not. I trust God. Because God got me here and God is going to continue to see me through every trial and tribulation, whether it's between me and a human being, me and a financial situation, me and a whatever. I trust God implicitly. God's going to see me through. And God's going to see me through this. Now, who he chooses to have remain or get in contact with me again, I have no issue. I have no control. But I know as for right now, boo boo. This one here that you see, no filters up in here. No, no filter. No filter. No fucking filter, bitch. Raw. I'm good. And I'm going to continue to be good. With or without you. And at this point, it's without you. Cheerio.